In this video, we're going to cover how to protect your content with a membership plugin. So in our exercise library, we have some exercises that are free that we want people to be able to see. And then we have other ones that are for VIP, like paying members only. And so you'll see in this post, it says this content's for VIP members only, please log in. And then it doesn't actually show the video. It does show our timer because we included that on every post, no matter what but we could actually edit the code for our timer and hide that for VIP members as well if we wanted to. So the way that we set this up, first you're gonna need a membership plugin. So in my case, I'm using Paid Memberships Pro. They do have a free version, which is nice. And I've created a membership level called VIP. You can use pretty much any membership plugin you want as long as it's based in, in WordPress and such as Restrict Content Pro, MemberPress, Woo uh, Members, and lots of other ones. So all we need to do is create the membership level. We have VIP here. And then when I actually go to an exercise post, oh, I should mention with Paid Memberships Pro specifically, you do need an add-on plugin that is paid for custom post types. So it is the custom post type add-on. And if you're not using a custom post type, you won't need that. So once I have that activated, um, in the settings, by the way, for custom post type add-on, I think I had to choose which post types I wanted to protect, and I chose exercises. So it's going to be different for every plugin, so just make sure that you have some way of protecting your posts. With Paid Memberships Pro specifically, I can then go into the Require Membership and just check the VIP box, and then that will automatically show up in our app as like this, with this content is for VIP members only. Um, you can actually, there's a setting to hide this from the feed if, it's, if, if they are not a VIP member. In my case, I still want people to see it as kind of a tease, but then they click into it and it says, you know, they need to log in. One thing we could do is to show a button here that says, that links to our premium membership page if we wanted to using a template hook. In my case, I just have a premium membership page that is going to go to my in-app purchase. And then people will know if they need to log in or sign up, then they are gonna have to uh, purchase the premium membership to get that other content. So to create the premium membership page, what we're gonna do is go to add a new page. We're gonna call it premium membership. And then in the blocks, we're gonna choose the uh, let's see, in-app purchase form. And then we're gonna have a product ID. So in-app purchases do have quite a bit of setup that you actually need to do before you get to this point. So if we look in the documentation, in-app purchases, there's an overview here that tells you everything that you need to do. So you have to actually create the subscription in the app stores. Um, set up the receipt validator, add a couple plugins to your site, and then we're actually on step four, which is add the purchase form to your app. So once I do that, I should have a product ID. You know, it might be called premium membership or something like that. If you have a separate Android product ID that's different, you can add that here. Um, hopefully you'll have the same ID for both iOS and Android, makes it a little easier. And then there's a couple options here um, if you really need these, but this is the most normal way to do it. So we're gonna to go to membership demo video. Um, I'm gonna add an icon. Let's see. You know, I think I'm probably gonna hide this. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna go always hide this item. So like we did with our other items in the tab menu, that's just gonna make it so that we have a nice clean menu, tab menu on the bottom with not too many, too many um, things to click on. And then we're gonna link to everything else on the more tab. So let's see, let's go back to premium membership. <clears throat> let's just confirm the page slug. Okay, so it's premium membership dash two. So then what I'm gonna do is go to my more page, which I created in previous video. And then I'm going to link to that from here. So now I go to the more page, click on premium membership, and then I have this, which is going to be just the, the, the way that people purchase through the app. You could put like a, an image up here up top if you wanted, um, or a custom text block that has more information about the purchase. 
it is actually required by uh, the app stores that you have information about how much the purchase is and how long it recurs and how to cancel it and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you include that information. And then what we want to do is let's see, we want to go back. I'm actually clicking out of my app and back to my app dashboard here. If I go to integrations, you're going to see for in-app purchase subscriptions, you're going to have to um, put your product ID here as well and your store validator URL. And then in the logging settings, what we want to do is allow users to register. I want to use a custom registration page and then I'm going to put in the slug of my uh, premium, pay, uh, my purchase page. So what that's going to do is when people click the sign up button, it's going to take them to my in-app purchase page. And that's going to let people know if they don't have a login, then they need to actually purchase. So another option we would have would be we could actually lock down the app and not let anyone see anything until they purchase. But in my case, I still want people to be able to see the free content. So now when we click login, existing users can log in here, or if they want to sign up, they can click sign up, and then they're going to see the premium membership page. And you can add more text up here uh, about you know, exactly how your program works, depending on the specific details of your membership setup. Another option we have is we can actually hide some of the menu items if we wanted to, to only show to people who are logged in or to people who have a certain membership role. So if I look up in the documentation again here, let's go hide. Um, you can choose hide or show menu items for logged in users. And the way that that works is if I go to my menu, which is membership demo video here, I can actually choose some of these items, like for example, let's say if the exercise library was only for uh, paying users or people who are logged in, then what I can do is add a logged in class. Um, I could also, and then I would just save that and then it'll actually be hidden. Well, I'll just show it to you. If, I'm, if I save it, the app's gonna, the preview's gonna refresh. And then you'll see that I don't have this exercise library link anymore because I'm not logged in. Um, the other thing that we can do is use user roles. So let's see, we're going to search for protect content based on user role. And then what you need to do is find the user role slug, which is usually all lowercase, no spaces. And then you put in uh, the role. So for example, if I have a role, called, um, you know, premium membership, then I could put that here like that. And that will actually make it so that anyone who's logged in and has the role of premium membership can see this menu item. Otherwise, they will not see it at all. So just so you're aware, those are some options for you. In my case, I don't want to do that. I just want to protect my posts my exercises so that people have to actually have this VIP membership. They have to be logged in. And so once you're logged in as someone who has a VIP membership, which would be like going through the in-app purchase process would do that for you, then you'll be able to see this content. So that's protecting content with a uh, membership plugin and using an in-app purchase. And I will see you in the next video.